What's going on? We starting off in the kitchen. We ain't been here in a minute when we started, but I do want to share something right quick with y'all before we get into the video. The other day, actually yesterday, I got saved and that was a crazy, crazy experience, but I just wanted to let y'all know that that happened and it's real. If I can do it, you can do it too. It's possible. Don't think anything is impossible. That's really what I'm trying to say right now. Yes. If you were to ask me, what, do you think I'll get saved? I probably would have said no. That's just the hard truth, but it happens though. And we here, you know what I'm saying? We are live in the flesh. But today, I did want to tell y'all that. And today we getting ready to hit the road running. We got a couple places that we got to go to. Some places I can take y'all into, but I know the first place I'm going to I can, which is the bank. So I'm about to go over here right quick. I'm about to settle some business that I got to do. And then after that, y'all can come with me through the rest of the day and what we got going on. I just wanted to tap in right quick before we got started and say hello to everybody. So let me get up with y'all as we go. And just like with an update with everything on life and stuff like that of that nature, I'm still in the gym. I'm still eating the same. I'm still doing everything the same. I ain't gonna lie. Recently though, my lady put me on with uh, tropical calf. I mean, I didn't had it before, but I never really ate it for real. But the little combo right here, the little avocado, what is it? Avocado, avocado, and the chipotle chicken wrap, tough. And I'm about to go to the gym, so it's not gonna be too heavy on my stomach either. So this will give me enough time. By the time I drive all the way over to the gym after eating this, I'll be straight. Cause it's gonna take me a little bit to warm up and all of that. So, and if you eat before the gym, you know it take about an hour, two hours for real for it to truly digest. But I'm feeling like a beast right now. I ain't gonna lie. It's a great start to the week. If you ain't got, go, if you ain't got up to go get no money, go up and get you some money. If you ain't woke up and ate no food, eat some food. If you don't eat any meal in a day, I promise you, breakfast is the best meal for you. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm. Not even a breakfast person. I really wake up and eat lunch for real. Like, I don't know. That's just how I am. But we getting ready to go lift. Today we doing some chest. Been a little bit off the grid, I guess you could say. That's just due to life, you know. I really honestly took a break for real from like social media period. Like Instagram, TikTok, I just didn't post anything. Like I kind of took a break. I just didn't realize like how much I needed it. I'm good now but i didn't realize like in the moment i would like think about maybe trying to post but then it would just slip my mind because i really needed time to really get into my creative mind again because i just started to get like flamboyant just kind of like with everything just whatever but we good now you know what i'm saying so we about to get right back rolling with it i mean i was gone for a little bit but not too too long but we'll be fine but we're gonna eat this food i'll show y'all what it looked like in case y'all want to know because i know if i was watching somebody Tell me about some food. I'm gonna want to see it. This is what it kind of. This is what it looked like. Get it with no bacon though. I will see you guys once we get to the gym with some chest day. We're about to completely psych out, so don't be scared when you watch it. Check in, I got here on my own, on my own. 
Fuckers eat, she so nasty, slept me out Let me fuckin' on my house Pocket watchin' pussy nigga, we pop him I promise that we never leaving him out Listen me on the internet, I find him outside I bet he won't repeat himself now Stop, drop and roll, touch your toe You won't lie again, cause if you lie again You'll lie alone I ain't been the same since they been inside my own We about to go run today because I definitely didn't pack a protein shake with me today. So we about to go run. I'll be real, y'all. When I lost all that weight, I ain't gonna lie. I got a little self-conscious with myself. I was like, dang. I had chopped down so much. I saw like the beginning stage of when I got in the gym and I was like, dog, ain't no way. I got the weight back now. But I had checked the scale like I think about a month ago. I'm like, man, ain't no way, bro. I'm tapping in. I'm like, no, I lost too much weight. But then I looked at it yesterday. I was like, oh, okay, we in the game. We in the game. But I will say, that scale and numbers will mess with your head. That's why you see a lot of people like going to panic mode because a lot of people are infatuated with numbers. Like, and I'm a victim because when I first hit my weight goal, I was like, oh my gosh, like this is exactly what I've been wanting. This is what I've been doing. I love it. Cause you see the results with numbers. That's why we are infatuated with numbers. But when you look at it on the other side and look at it just from being a human being, the number literally does not define anything about you or anything that you have to offer. Of course, money is the root of all evil, but who the fuck, who don't want money? You know what I'm saying? Like that, that number does matter. And I would stay infatuated with it if I was you too. But you can't beat yourself up whenever the number don't look right. And I almost beat myself up about it, but I was just like, I mean, this is happening. I, I just gotta, gotta get back to work. I mean, I lost too much weight and I was like, dang. But it was only for like a little bit. It probably lasted me a week and then the weight started going right back on. Don't get discouraged if you see something that you don't like numerically. Just fix it mentally. Whatever it is, just put your mind to it, literally. You know how we do this thing. Ugh. I'm pretty sure we're about to go for a run and then we're gonna go eat because we ate before we got here. And I think I got enough in the tank to go hit a couple miles right quick. So we're gonna go change right quick and go hit the run. And then we will circle back and have some protein, lunch, all that good stuff, hit hit the store, things of that nature. I like the, I like the simple life. I was reading something the other day and it was like, People that come from, for instance, you know, broken homes, not healthy homes, things of that nature. And I'm not saying I lived a terrible life, you know, but it definitely wasn't something that I, I didn't grow up in a super cherishing. It was weird to even hug family for me. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like it was weird to even hug my family members for a long time. And then as I got older, I grew up and I started seeing my friends and my people's like, I see how they are with their family and I just took it from their family and incorporated with me and the people that I meet and I always show love and stuff. But what I'm getting at, it just, things been, things was very awkward for me growing up. And it was saying that the people that come from things of that nature typically don't like, you know, have huge, crazy, crazy dreams. Cause everything that I look at, it's not a huge, crazy dream of mine. It's just like, so something I see, I go get it. So, I mean, it can be a dream or a goal, but when you're, really in that mode and you really going to go get something nothing is going to get in your way and at that time when you accomplish it it's like okay now what you know but you got to keep going because once you hit it you got to just keep moving keep the ball rolling and what i'm getting at is i've always just wanted a healthy home and that's why i was just saying where i was where i come from it just wasn't always healthy it wasn't healthy actually at all and it was perceived as healthy but it really wasn't healthy once you on the inside looking out and my goals and dreams is just to have one big happy healthy family and starting here is allowing me to do that it's allowing me to have a better mind it's allowing me to do a lot more things who would have thought i got saved you know what i'm saying like just just a year ago i was trying to figure out who i was you know what i'm saying but once you take that time to really love on yourself and love who you are and cut out like toxic traits like bro you can't expect to do better and you still watch explicit videos and you still get bored at night and you know whack the willy bro you not you not gonna go anywhere in life i promise you not going anywhere like i don't want to shoot your dreams down but 
you have addictive traits of things of that nature, like you whack the willy before you go to sleep, you fantasize about women on the internet, you ain't gonna ever get anybody because you're gonna be so awkward and so weird because you whack the willy in private. You wonder why people be so confident in themselves. You wonder why somebody walks so clean and talks so clean and moves so spiff or spiffy. You wanna know why? They not whacking the willy at home. They not putting their time in pointless places. I mean, I know we all go through that phase, but it comes a point in time where the light has to click. And when the light clicks, it's no going back, bro. You have to remove those traits. When you feel like doing it, bro, just go to sleep. Figure something else out. You gotta want it. That's the only way you're gonna milk. That's the only way you're gonna move up. So don't whack the willy. Don't be silly and whack the willy. You tripping. You ain't gonna get no girls like that, bro. I promise you. You wanna be a magnet? Get your get your body right, get your mind right. Do everything that we already been talking about and put it to use. Okay? You got that. But let's go run. I had to stop for a stretch break, I ain't gonna lie. I love this weather, but I gotta get used to the long distance. The quick, short distance is cool, but I stopped to stretch, cause I did just work out. But this second mile, I won't lie. It's not my legs, it's like my chest. And I just exercise on my chest. But I'm just updating y'all on mile two. And now we're about to get back to it. So I see y'all when I finish, I'm not stopping until I get done. I think a lot of people are afraid to commit because of the what if factor. And that's why 90% of America is depressed and broke because people are scared to commit because of the what if factor. In my mind, it makes sense. Cause what if you just start? What if you just try? Or what if it doesn't happen? So when these thoughts come, my advice to you is to just stop being a bitch. What if it doesn't happen? Okay, what if you try and it happens, then what? You'll never know. So that what if factor will, complete, will always continuously haunt you. And especially for men. Cause you see these beautiful women out here and you see all this extravagant things everybody else has. And I think that's one reason why I will never go into that field of showing that type of luxury because for one, I didn't have a desire to flex on people. I never had a desire to show that I'm better than. I might give the vibe that, you know, I don't feel welcome here. I'm not feeling y'all energy. That's one thing, but to ever like degrade somebody, maybe in the very, very past I did, but that's neither here nor there because nobody knows who I am. Nobody has been around me truly since I have found God and since I have got my life together. So that what if factor is gonna always haunt you if you don't put your mind to it. And that's basically what the moral of life is, putting your mind to something. It's all a mind game. Are you gonna play it back or are you gonna feed into it and be weak? That's why only five to 10% of America is really 1% of America has any type of money. but. That what if factor is never gonna take place in a positive in a positive light if you don't make that first step to do it. And a lot of people, I've been in a position where I'm not sure what I wanna do. I know we've all been there, but think of the things that you like to do. Think of everything that you love. Go find something in that aspect, in that light to go turn it all the way up. You got the newest invention in your head, just try it. I mean, what's better than that? Cause what if, what if it goes right? Don't be scared to commit to something. Even if it's a trial run, you only do it for three weeks. You get the results back. You do it for three years. You're gonna get discouraged in life, but that's the only way you're gonna level up. You know how many times I have started a vlog and didn't finish it because I was so discouraged with myself at the time? And to y'all, y'all might be like, no way, but yes way. I'm a human being. You're gonna get discouraged in life, but are you gonna sit there and quit? or push through. I simply quit some of the vlogs because I don't want to give you just quality. I mean, I don't want to just give you quantity content. I want to give you quality. So when I took that kind of month long break, I want y'all to understand it wasn't for 
any reason but to clear my head because it gets so foggy in there and nobody wants a foggy mind going into anything in life so don't think that just because it's not happening now it's not happening it's happening in front of you you just don't see it that's why there's different rooms that's why some people get looked at crazy because they see things that we don't or they see things that you don't and you see, you see things that they don't that's why you are a select individual that can do anything that you want to do we have free will. I think a lot of y'all don't understand that we have free will. I could go out here and do the most absurd shit in my life. I could go out here and throw an egg on somebody's window. I have free will. Or you can think of it a different way. Like, that's all I'm saying. You have free will, so just go do something with it. Time is ticking. The longer you wait, the longer everybody's gonna just surpass you. Each day you don't do it, somebody else is getting a step ahead. So just get out there and go get it. Find a select schedule that fits your routine and just stick at it and keep going. It's easy to get persuaded and all of these things, but I genuinely believe every single last one of you guys is strong enough to push through any type of pain you've been through or any type of self-harming thoughts you've had or any type of neglection you've had. None of that matters anymore. It's just about what you gonna do right now to move forward. So what if, what if it happens today? Don't thank me. What if it happens today? What if it happens tomorrow? Don't thank me, I'm just here to spread the word. But get up. So, as y'all seen, I just left Costco, but as I'm leaving the spot, y'all know I'm leaving my spot. Y'all know I got my Mexican food. That my shit right now. But so as I'm leaving, I see these three guys walking out, and there's a vape shop over here. As I'm walking out, I see all of them, and they all look so sad. I just feel for them because all three of them got in a car. I'm not judging anybody, but they look like they have a lot more potential than what they're doing. And I just, when I seen him just now, one of them looked at me and I looked at him and then he just like put his head down. And I'm just like, dang, bro, like, it's nothing nobody can tell you. So if you in one of these ruts and stuff like that, it's nothing really anybody can tell you. I can sit here and coach you and stuff of that nature, but that's not really what I'm here for. I'm just here to show you that you can get out of it, whether you watch me until you get out of the rut or you watch me after the rut as well like whatever the case may be i just appreciate you watching me and following me along the way but as i see him lead a vape shop i'm just like dang bro like i remember being in that position like spending the last little bit of bread just to go get a feel just to go get a buzz but in all actuality the buzz is not getting the buzz and once you get to that point you'll be like dang you'll really understand what i'm saying because i used to just fiend for the buzz but Really, my high, my highs now are all sober. My highs, my highs are me running. My highs are working out. My highs are me and my girl. My highs are spending time with my family. Like those are the moments where I'm like, like wow, this is really. I love this, but I used to tell myself like, oh yeah, no, nah, I'm not addicted. Like I can quit this anytime. <laughs> Shit. But why do I keep spending money every single week? Every five days, I'm buying a new vape. Every day, I'm buying a new bottle. I'm not addicted, though. I'm blessed that I didn't have to go through, like, you know, any type of medical care or anything of that nature to get my life together. I just put my mind to it, and I got it together. But as I saw them boys, I was like, dang, bro. Like, I wish I could just tell them, like, it's going to get better. But I ain't going to lie. Y'all three boys might have to separate because it's not, you feel me, like, I had to separate from all of my friends in order to make it right. And I have no bad blood with any of them. Like, one of them is a forever brother to me. But that's neither here nor there. You got to separate sometimes. And that's okay. But when I looked at them boys, I was just like, man, I wonder if they're going to get out of it. Because I ain't going to lie. There's a lot of people that just say, whatever, I'm going to live this life. And this is what I'm here for. Everybody has a purpose. But a lot of people just be like, mm, whatever. Like, I have a cousin. He told me his mom just doesn't care. She's pitiful. She just spits straight negativity. She don't talk about nothing good. I, I've never had a genuine conversation with her a day in my life. But she come over. Every time there's food that he make, she come over. And I'm not, like, 
that ain't my business to speak on, but it's just like, come on, man. You chose to live that life. You could have done something to make it count while you were younger. And even once you get older, you still can contribute something from your job that you work at now to make some type of light shed towards the end of the tunnel. Because you're not... They want you to work these jobs. They want you to slave. They want you to be a regular nine to five. They want you to do these things. But all the people that you watch don't do it. Maybe they did it, but they don't do it now. What does that tell you? You take the risk. Bro, vaping is terrible. I'm here to tell you, my lung collapsed. Like, I'm not playing. I remember my lung collapsed. My nigga, that shit hurt. I'm money. driving home, I'm an hour and a half away Dropped my friends off, went to the hospital They were like, if you would have got here an hour later You would have died They told me that after I got out of surgery I had to go into emergency surgery, urgent surgery I went to the hospital They put me on the uh, table They cut my side of my ribs open right here And they stuck a tube into my chest Because I couldn't breathe I walked into the hospital, I'm about to collapse I went in there, they didn't even put me in the waiting room. I was like, I was telling them I can't breathe, my lungs, like my my chest is hurting. All because I was vaping, smoking fake vapes. I think it was a hide. It was like filled with lead. I found out later on that they were fake vapes or something like that, but it's not worth it. I'm telling you, like my entire lung collapsed. My sister came into that hospital room and looked at me. That day changed my life forever, but I was so stubborn and so blind. I just kept doing stupid things after the fact. I had to sign. I had a do or die moment at 20 years old because I just want to vape and party. But my stubborn ass kept partying and vaping and doing these stupid ass things. But once it finally registered, it finally registered. And that's where I'm getting at when I mean those guys that I just saw leaving the vape shop, I feel for them because they all look sad. And I know once they go get that buzz, they're going to feel good in the moment. But as soon as the buzz go away, what's fun now? You feel me? But I don't really tell nobody that that happened to me. But yeah, my right lung collapsed. I lied to the doctors and said I didn't vape. Then they found out that I did. And they were like, yeah, well, that's what happened. Like, and I was like, okay, I need to stop lying. Because <laughs> what am I lying to y'all for? Y'all don't even know me. Y'all trying to help at least. So, but if you vape, you need to quit. You feel me? Go have fun. Don't get me wrong. You can go have fun. I'm not your daddy. I'm not telling you what to do. But if I was to advise anybody to do anything in this world, it would be to not vape. I don't even care if you substitute it for something that you know what's in it, like a black and mild, even though it's terrible. But I'm telling y'all, I've been through these stages in life. That's why I share it with y'all. But if you vape, you need to put that shit down. I'm not playing. It is not what you want to play with. I understand if you just started, you want to get a little feel for it. I'm lenient. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be like, oh, no, you're a terrible person if you... Nah, it's disgusting. Try and get a girl while you pull out and hit that damn Jolly Rancher vape that you got. At least once you start getting older, you'll be like, what the... That is sassy. I ain't gonna lie. You pull out a vape. I'm like, what? What is he doing? You are a grown man smoking blueberry fago. What are you doing? Like, hell nah. You need to dead that. But I'm not the judge, though, because I was once that person. I am not going to be a hypocrite here. I done did it. It, me. it just comes a point in time where you got to grow up. And uh, a lot of us men have to separate from our friends. And... The distance becomes further and further away, but if you're really true friends, it'll always stay there. So you don't gotta worry about it, bro. I'm telling you. I ain't gonna lie. Once y'all start staying on y'all own, it'd be a little different to really fully invest in a Costco card, but trust, I ain't gonna lie. Like, bro, you see all of this? So like 20 bucks. You get what I'm saying? This is gonna last a long time. Especially if you stay by yourself. What? Come on, man. You can't beat that. But I've been thinking like, if I should, if y'all want, let's come to an agreement right quick. If y'all want like a series, like a week long, I mean, a, yeah, a every day, seven days for a whole week. If y'all want a vlog, like I'll vlog every single day for a whole week straight, let me know and we can run a series. Because I'm down to do that if y'all want to do it. Y'all just have to understand <clears throat> that'll be quantity over every single one being quality. I mean, I I can make it work, you know what I'm saying? But it might not be the most deepest talks or it might not be the most monumental vlog when we do them every single day. But if y'all want it, we can do it. And I'll, I'll definitely flood it if y'all want to do it. So if y'all want to do it, just let me know in the comments and we can do that.
Yeah, you can't beat this. I don't even know how many is in here, but y'all see how many I just put up though. I don't really care. But this is the business. It lasts a good minute too. I got a Costco card. I've been really using it because my grandmother showed me the ropes with it and stuff like that. Cause my grandmama <clears throat> used to take care of us and stuff, so she'll go to Costco and she showed me the bulk method. In the moment, you know, when you budgeting and stuff, especially like people in their young 20s, I definitely understand like budgeting, you know what I'm saying? Because it don't matter what it is. You ain't trying to spend OD for no reason. Like, you know what I'm saying? But this right here, it's just a good little asset to have. Like if you have a Sam's card or a Costco card, just because it plays a good role in saving bread. <clears throat> it's an investment, but I mean, I don't know. I just look at it like I'm going to make it back. So, I mean, it's just, it helps me out because... If I was to go buy this, I'd be like 25, but or 30. But all I'm saying is just Costco got deals. Trust. I think we can do the series if y'all really want to do it. Cause I'm down if y'all down. So you just need to Y'all need to let me know if that's something that y'all would want to do. That's basically a full day right there. I'm right now I'm really just getting ready to put my stuff and give it to the Either the Goodwill or the Children's Shelter. I'm not sure, but I'm going through like old clothes and stuff like that. And we about to throw all of this stuff in now, but I just got this bag and I just fin I just figured I'm just stop right quick and let y'all know what I'm doing. Cause I'm not about to show y'all me bagging up all of this stuff. But yeah, I'm getting ready to get rid of some clothes. I'm about to probably get like three more, four more bags. And we about to give all of that away. And that, that's been the day for real. It's calm. It's the sun is literally about to go down right now. Where I'm at, it'd be light, and then as soon as it flip, boom, it's dark outside. But yeah, so today that was the rest of the video. And if we doing the series, let me know, and we're gonna get straight to it. And um, I definitely see you guys in the next one for sure. So let me know if that's what we doing, and we gonna get it rolling. So if there's anything you can take away from watching this all the way through, if you made it all the way to the end make sure you don't devalue yourself when you devalue yourself you look less than the next person for instance if you like somebody don't devalue yourself make them know that you're the prize make them know that you are the golden child the golden ticket but you have to actually be that though some people genuinely aren't a lot of people are y'all I know y'all are but you just gotta be confident in what you're doing, cause the so the soon as soon as the moment comes up where you have a chance to devalue yourself, which means talk down on somebody else or not show that you're showing up for yourself, that's the moment you're gonna get dropped off. So just make sure you keep your eyes on the prize, which is you and God. Keep your keep your bond tight. Make sure you do what you gotta do. Don't look over here. Don't look over there. Look at you in the mirror, and that's where it all starts. At. When it clicks, it clicks.